Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm super fangirling. Oh, <laughs> hi everybody. My name is Triple L. Um, welcome. Sorry, I'm a minute or two late, you know, real life stuff, mom life. Hi, Dr. Teddy Emoji J is in the building. Hi, hi, hi. I didn't even fix uh, my nails, but Emoji J is here. We have one of our amazing guests in the building. Blake is here. <laughs> Anthony, thank you so much for the favorite. Uh, my name is Triple O, and this is our featured show um, called Living and Loving with Triple L. Uh, I have to clean my screen. Oh my God. Okay, that's better. <laughs> Stream on <of> life. <laughs> Hi, Daisy. Before you go clubbing, that's fun. Um, so tonight we have a wonderful show. There she is. We have our, our second guest. You guys, we don't have just one. We don't have two. We have triple the guests this week. You are so blessed. I am so blessed to have this great energy tonight. Um, and we're going to have a great time. So we're going to start out with our jokes and uh, kind of lighten the mood, get everybody in the happy space that they should be in, um, and then we'll proceed. I have an affirmation for us that is super like powerful. Um, I use it in my own life, um, but I wanna share it with you tonight, and um, I hope that it will change your world as well in a positive way. I also have a healthy living tip of the week, and um, we have three amazing guests that are gonna share some of their stories about life, love as streamers but also just as humans and uh yes welcome everyone please remember this is a featured show there's just very um important rules but there's just a few of them be kind and respectful to each other in the chats be very kind and respectful to my guests and um have a good time those are basically the rules <laughs> i would ask my guests while you're in the box please don't do anything uh, you know inappropriate but i don't even really need to say that to these amazing guests because they already know <laughs> jessica is a featured show host as well we'll talk more about that in a little bit kim possible has been a streamer for over a year as well and casino king who will be here in a minute i believe it and if he's in here um let me know um and when you see him let me know in the chat okay all right so let's start off with some jokes shall we all right We did that one last week, so we won't do that one this week. Okay. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? I'm laughing at my own jokes. Yeah, it's silly. Got it. Okay. All right. <laughs> what do you call a Labrador at the beach in August? What do you call a Labrador at the beach in August? And you know me, I love the beach. Any guesses? It's a joke, y'all, by the way. If you're just joining us, welcome. <laughs> so what do you call a Labrador, which is a dog, y'all? A Labrador retriever at the beach in August. A hot dog. <laughs> Come on, you guys. You had to spit your drink out on that one. Hey, Lexi. Come on, it's silly. What do you call a hot dog in August? just kidding a labrador in august hot dog okay all right all right all right <laughs> okay so all right let's do one more joke they are very corny jokes right super corny jokes i they i often say uh they're they're dad jokes told by a mom okay and uh, no offense dads we love you <laughs> but we know you guys have some of the silliest jokes ever so this is this is what you get here okay it's to lighten the mood all right before we dip into the the other amazing stuff of the night. Um, okay, did I say happy Saturday? Happy Saturday night or Sunday morning, you know, wh or whatever time of day it is for you, afternoon on the uh, West Coast. Okay, why didn't the sun go to college? Why didn't the sun go to college? And this one's kind of a trick. It's like a play on words. Hi, everybody. Welcome in. <laughs> Why did the sun, sun, I think it's on that corner, but whatever, the sun. Why didn't the sun go to college? 
<laughs> because it has a million degrees. Too bright. That's a good one too. That was good. It has a billion or a million, a million or billion. Gosh, I need my glasses. A million degrees. Okay. The sun does not need to go to college because it is burning hot. <laughs> anyway, it's a joke. It's a joke, y'all. Okay. Welcome. Welcome. Hi, everybody. We're about to get into the meat of the show. The best part, which are my guests. This week, we have not only one, not two, but triple the guests. So you're in for a treat. I am so glad you're here. Thank you for your time and energy and support. We hit 22,000 faves last night. I'm out of this world excited about that. And I'm so grateful um, to each and every one of you for tuning in to, to, to gifting, to talking to me, to chatting with me, to knowing me um, on a personal level, on and off the app. I'm grateful. So um, with that, I would like to clear our energy for just a moment. And um, I'm going to do something. These are um, these are chimes, and I don't know their technical term. So if you're in, like, if you have a headset in, or if you uh, are sound sensitive, if you want to turn your your volume down just a moment, um, I'm going to clear the energy for all of us. Uh, I encourage you at this time just to take a couple of deep breaths and uh, let's center ourselves and get ready for some great energy. Um, but we all come with our own, you know, daily trials and tribulations, right? I know I do. And so this is a chance for you to breathe in, take a moment, sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy the show. So I will do three because, you know, triple. <laughs> so, all right, let's go. So just uh, let me turn my music down here for a second. And uh, the sound, it um, permeates. And when it stops, I'll do it again. So I'll do it in three, three tunes. So, and are you ready? Sometimes it's hard to hit them. <laughs> so much pressure on here. Okay. <laughs> and that was one. I'll do two more. Again, just take deep breaths. If you're driving, don't close your eyes, please. But breathe. <laughs> And get ready to enjoy the show. And we'll do one more casino. I see that. I'm so sorry, love. I'm so sorry that you're not feeling well. And last one. That was loud. We'll let that one ride out. And then we'll dip into our affirmation of the week and our healthy tip of the week. And then we will get into our amazing guest tonight. So um, yes, everyone, I think Casino just, yes. Hi, Casino, I'm so sorry you're not feeling well and COVID is not fun at all. Um, we just had it in June, whip through our household. So at least one time, but we've probably had it more than that, knowing, you know, germs. But yes, much love to you. Um, I hope you can hang out for a few minutes in the chat. If you can, if not, just take care of yourself and hydrate and um, relax and rest. Um, feel better. Okay. Hi, everyone. Thank you for being here. My name is Triple L. This is the Living and Loving Show with Triple L. We're here every Saturday at 7 p.m. This is our 45th show. This is season three, episode five. I can't even believe it. It's it's like flown by. We started last fall on September 25th was our pilot episode, and uh, it's been a amazing journey ever since. Uh, we had 22,000 favorites last night on this broadcast channel, and I'm forever grateful. So we did our jokes, we did our sound check, and now we're going to move into our affirmation of the week. And so this one is something, um, like I said, I use this affirmation in my own life all the time, especially when I get um, stressed about finances which as a mother of three young children is often. <laughs> they eat a lot, they need a lot, they're growing like weeds. I know I've got to put them through college. You know, it's it, they're in sports, which I want, but it's a lot of financial obligations, right? And many of you I'm sure can attest to having financial pressures, maybe not stress, but pressures, what, regardless of what your family looks like, you know, whether it's just you, you and a partner, you and lots of kids, no kids, pets, um, whatever that looks like for you, every one of us could use this affirmation 
I almost said mantra because um, what I want you to do, and if you have a pen and paper, I would encourage you to write it down because it really is powerful. It will change your world. It will take days of reaffirming this, especially if you've come from a family or um, circumstances like most of us have, and I know I have, where money was scarce. Money was not, uh, it was like phrases like, money doesn't grow on trees, and what do you think I'm made of? Money, you know, that kind of energy, right? So if you have that, like, uh, I don't wanna say, it's a lack mindset, okay? So if you were raised in a home, or in a family or around that kind of energy. And there's nothing wrong with it, y'all. That's, I mean, it's, I don't know anyone who was not somehow affected by that kind of terminology. But what I would like to encourage you to do tonight to help change your whole world um, in a healthy way is to embrace this affirmation. So if you have a second, write it down. If you don't, type it in your phone um, or you can watch this recording on YouTube and get it from there. So, um, with me in your heart space your mind space your if you can yell it out loud yell it <laughs> write it like i said um this is what we're saying okay and i'm going to say it from a personal perspective so that you can say the exact same thing that i'm saying and mirror me okay money flows easily and frequently into my life money flows frequently and easily into my life and one more time, I want you to say it with me again in your own head space, heart space, write it down. Um, money flows easily and frequently into my life. Now, again, this is an affirmation. It's a daily affirmation. It could be done as much or as little as you want. But if you're looking to change your mindset around money, I would encourage you to say this as often as you can and to write it down and put it in strategic places of your home, your bathroom mirror, your microwave, your refrigerator, your car window, you know, like down low, uh, wherever, you know, you're going to be active and present. And even in your subconscious mind, you're going to see this phrase, which is going to change your relationship with money. Money flows easily and frequently into my life. So, Again, a lot of us come from uh, families where money was tight. It was hard to uh, increase budgets. It was paycheck to paycheck. There wasn't um, the, the positive relationship with the tool that is known as money. So I hope that helps you. Let me know next week or in the chats or in Instagram later on this week if that has impacted you in any way. I would encourage you to do it for a full seven days. But if you really wanna make your <laughs> world change, I would do at least 30 days of saying that affirmation over and over and embracing it and really feeling it, feeling that energy of that money is a tool and it does come easily and frequently into your life. You will be amazed of what will, will happen um, in your own financial world. So blessings to you. Uh, we're gonna dip into our guests. Um, I'll talk about the healthy living tip later on because well, I spent a, a bit of time on that, but I feel like a lot of people need to hear that, especially at the end of the month, the end of summer with COVID aftermath. I feel like a lot of people are feeling financial um, journeys. And so um, anyway, I hope that helps some of us in here. Uh, I would love it to help all of us, but um, thank you for being respectful, kind and pleasant. Um, we do have a few bouncers in here and they don't hesitate to help people that can't control their typing or their energy on to the next stream they uber them right on and i think it's it's like the the upper level ubers you know they're pretty nice um so <laughs> uh, be nice be friendly and be kind because that's the kind of energy we're in here um it's live love laugh is the triple l it's live well love more and laugh always my first guest tonight is amazing she is someone i got to know um, through another show, a featured show on the app. She is a longtime streamer. She is in New York City, because <laughs> I always mix up her location, because we are worldwide streamers over here. And her name is Kim Possible. I want you to welcome her in with open arms, lots of love, light, and good energy. And let's talk to her about life and love as a streamer. Thanks for being here, y'all. Hi, Triple O. Hi, Kim. How are you? I'm great. How are you? 
I'm good. It's so great to see you again. And we were just together um, not too long ago. We we tend to run in similar circles, which I love. And thanks for being a guest. I know you're busy with work and life and streaming. Of course. And it's great that our, our schedule's connected um, for this week for you to be on the show. Yeah. So can you tell me a little bit about your stream journey, how you became a streamer? Yeah, so um, it was in 2020 um, of like right when the pandemic, I was I was at Playlist 2020, and I was sitting in a panel. Oh, can I make you? Can I make you big? Can I do big box, medium box yeah, yeah, for yeah. you? Is that a, sorry? I didn't ask that. Okay, okay, great. Okay, here you guys. It's Kim Possible. And she's going to share her streamer journey with us right now. Okay. So you went to Playlist 2020? I went to Playlist 2020. Um, it was, I was actually there un not intentionally for when Meet Me and everybody, all the streaming apps was there. And I was there sitting in this panel. I was there for comedian Drew Lynch. And on that same panel, our very own Chris Casper was on that panel. And I was sitting there, I was like, I like this guy. He is very, like, I like how he's, like, holding his conversations and stuff. I want to be his friend. And so later on, I um, reached out to him on uh, Instagram, and I was like, hey, I saw you on the panel, our playlist, you were great. And he was, and he's, was like and he was like telling me about meet me and now he was on meet me and he was just like you you should come on to meet me and I was just like I would love to come I I at first because I was on meet me back when it was only dating and it was like not streaming platform at all so way back in the day and so right. I was just like I was like a little bit hesitant to come back on to meet me but I was just like, you know what? I'll give it a try. So I came on, I gave it a try, and here I am. And you're here, and you're streaming. And you're streaming pretty regularly, right? How often do you stream? Um, I stream as much as I can. Um, you know, I set a work-life balance, a work-personal life balance, and a streaming life balance. So, so when I... So I usually, I, you know, I don't have like a set schedule where it's like, but I will post on like my Instagram stories or I'll post a blast, but I know everybody usually checks Instagram stories or stuff like that a little bit more than opposed to blast now often. So, so I try and make it very known when I'm about to go live and I'm, and so that's when people will know when I'm about to go live. I love it. And um, tell them a little bit, if you would, about some of your creative passions, because I know I'm lucky enough to know about some of your creative endeavors. Would you share with us some of those so they can get to yeah. know you a little more? Yeah. Um, other so, just streaming side. Yeah. So I'm a I I sing. I'm a singer. I write a lot of lyrics. I would say I've been a writer my entire life. Like I remember in first grade, um, I did a lot of poetry and I was published in a poetry book that my elementary school put out. And so um, I've just written, I've just always liked writing, even like short stories. I've written stories about adventures. I've been on like trips, like I was on American, I wasn't, I went out to audition for American Idol in California. So I wrote a whole little story about that. Like I'm just a passionate writer, I would say, but I also love like singing, performing arts. I'm just a very creative individual. I love it. You are, you are and so talented. And the show that we were featured on together, y'all, how I got to meet impossible on a, on a deeper level was called uh, pins down with Aisha. She's now a top badge. Um, and it's a wonderful show. If you all haven't checked it out, it is on a Sunday. I think it's 11. I, I got to check my time schedules, but, um, 
but it was such an amazing show and it gives you a chance to be very creative with writing. Um, you're given a time limit and you're given keywords and you have some basic rules. And if you guys are interested in being on a featured show, um, I would encourage you to do that one because Kim and I, didn't we have fun? I recorded yes. that whole show and I looked, I watched it back and most of the show I could show my kids because it was a Sunday morning show, you know, but there was a few yeah. adult parts because I remember, uh, <laughs> it was, I forget, but somebody was getting a little adult in their content, um, but it was super fun and creative. And I just love that you're a singer, you're a writer, you're, you know, you're a streamer, you're, you're good at, like you just mentioned, you balance your life well. Could you give us a, a tip or a trick of how do you, do you balance your life or work schedule? Cause they used to say work life schedule, right? And I love that you said life mm -hmm. first. So how do you, how do you do that? Because it can be hard at, in a worldwide platform that is open 24 seven to balance things in a prop, you know, in a very healthy way. So what's a tip you could give us tonight on that? Uh, so a tip is just like, you need to make sure that you're taking care of yourself. So go live Absolutely. when you're feeling a hundred thousand percent able to go live. Like if you're not feeling up to go live, if you're not feeling well, if you're sick, if you're not going to be a hundred percent like out there for your stream to be able to produce the content that viewers are looking for, then it's not going to be a great stream. And so I, so when, when I stream, I like to make sure that I am a thousand percent there to stream and, and I'm feeling well enough to stream. And that is important. You're right. Because people connect with our energy, right? And if we're feeling of lower energy or maybe not in our best headspace, maybe we had a rough day, maybe we're hangry. I get hangry, y'all. <laughs> My kids get hangry. You know, maybe we haven't, you know, rested enough or maybe we're working too hard or who knows what's going on, right? But not being in a, a healthy headspace mentally, physically well, it can take a toll on our stream as well. Um, and I love that you're saying that. That's powerful. And it was it was part of the rundown on on Friday as well. It was one of the tips of the week was make sure you're you're um, being responsible with your audience in your streams, right? Because we do impact the way our streams flow. We're live broadcasters. It's our channel, and we get to run it ultimately, right? And so we yeah. have power with that. We can use it for positive or not so positive. And I love that you're, you know, focused on making sure your streams are, are fun and balanced and healthy and uh, something that you look forward to, but also your viewers look forward to, it sounds like. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Everyone, course, because... you're just joining us. Sorry, go ahead. I was gonna let them know to favorite you. Yeah. You guys, you can click the box right here and favorite Kim Possible so you can find her live streams and connect with her on IG. She's a singer, a writer, a streamer, a daughter, a, an amazing woman, and a friend of mine. Um, so Kim, can we dip into really quickly into some love, my favorite topic? Yeah. yeah, we can. Okay. Okay. So currently, what is your relationship status? Currently, I am single. Ooh, okay. It's Saturday <laughs> night too. Okay, so Kim is single, y'all. Just just so you know, uh, I think your favorites just went up by at least 10 right now. Um, okay, so you're single. Um, are you ready to mingle or are you kind of just taking your time or both? I am definitely looking for love, you know, um, and I've definitely been one to like really jump fast into things. So, I mean, so I'm looking like, to like just kind of like focus on like making sure it's the right person because i've been in way too many relationships i'm getting older i just don't want time to be wasted anymore so i want to make sure that the connection is really a hundred but that thousand percent there so it's just like uh i just want 
a relationship where I can actually connect to someone because a lot of my past relationships that just didn't go so well for various reasons and it's and yeah yeah and you're not alone in that I think a lot of us <laughs> when we first came to these platforms I will say for me on 2018 I joined as a as a plenty of fish user in the hopes that I might date again and um you know life had other plans <laughs> but I'm a streamer now here so I'm grateful for that but um you know many of us are still looking for love um and some of us you know I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest here y'all and it's not Kim and it's not me and it's not Jessica but there are some people out here looking for love with many people at the same time <laughs> okay so let's just you know be real okay so everybody be strategic and be smart about it um and be safe <laughs> but um and i did meet lugsy here this is true so so what are you looking for in a partner and then i'll i'll let you get on to your evening because i'm sure you're going to be streaming later as well but tell us what you're looking for what are give me top three things that you want in the person that you choose to create space with the next round and and obviously you know i don't expect you to meet them tonight but wouldn't it be neat <laughs> um if you met them on my show i mean goodness that would blow my mind i have made a few marriages in my life some matchmaking has happened um in my life but um what are you looking for top three things that you're looking for in a partner uh so top three things is just be very honest and um uh my okay so i'll start number three honesty number two um trust and the number one thing that i always say that seems to go over many guys heads is communication and that's a reason oh, wow why my last relationship ended was because I kept saying from the start of the relationship to the end of the relationship, communication matters. And even though I said that the whole entire relationship, I actually rekindled with this, with this guy that I broke up this in the middle of this past week. And we were talking and he said, this past week, wait, wait. Well, no, we, 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 we were talking because he, he ghosted me and I was just like, I thought you loved me. I didn't, we didn't like, I, we were in the middle of a relationship and he just ghosted me. So I just wanted to clarify what had happened and why he ghosted me and why he was just showing That's back up. Right? And so he said, he said, well, you did this and this and this and and I was just like, well, if I did all these things, why didn't you communicate it to me in the moment? So communicating in the moment when somebody's doing something wrong or just talking it out in the moment is the number one thing. And if you're not doing that, nobody's going to know that they're doing something wrong and you're creating the relationship to go in a southward way, in a down you're sinking your ship for that relationship. I agree with you that um, communicating really fast, not super fast, like I'm not saying y'all have to call people a thousand times if there's one misunderstanding, but I absolutely agree with you that communication is super important and it does need to happen very promptly. It shouldn't be left, especially something that's significant to terms of maybe changing the relationship, quitting the relationship, um, those things need to be addressed very fast because otherwise, well, things happen, miscommunications, people are stewing in their own mental goo and uh, make, maybe even making it more, you know, big or more um, explosive than it even needed to be in the first place. Now that is not easy, right? I know for sure that communicating effectively is something that people go to classes for like for the whole life. <laughs> so, <laughs> and you know, so it is, it is a journey. It is a process and it's not going to be perfect. We're all human. We have emotions and feelings and needs and wants and stresses. Like we talked about at the beginning of the show. So, wow, very, I'm very proud of you though, for actually, um, being assertive 
and standing up for your side of this, you know, what happened and saying, Hey, you just, you just ghosted. Why? And did you get a response or was it still a ghost? Yeah. Cause that does happen a lot. Yeah. So are you back together or you just decided oh, it's no. going to be like, uh, it, it was a mutual agreement that we were ending just because we okay. live in different, we live in different states now. And it, I mean, I, I don't mind long distance relationships, but just the way it ended, it was just a bad taste to the mouth. And we both Absolutely. just decided. And now, I mean, I would say you were able to get, get closure of sense, right? Yeah. Because at least you knew where you were operating from, right? You, you got yeah. some sort of, this is, you know, he said, whatever he said, this is not for me, or I'm not into this right now, or I can't do it, or it's too challenging. Long, LDRs, long distance relationships are the hardest relationships, you know, because there is so many variables and, and challenges. So, wow. So single, ready to mingle. Um, and you're looking for honesty, trust and communication, huge and very key components to any successful relationship. I'm excited for your next journey in love. And would you tell us when we can catch you live and how to connect with you when you're not streaming on our platforms? Yeah, so um, you can uh, uh, catch me live. Um, usually um, I go live at random, so um, you can always check my, the blast or you can check my Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram, it's in my bio. So I post in my stories when I go live. Um, I might be going live tonight, not sure yet. <laughs> like I said, gotta be a hundred thousand percent. So I um, hear that. And I'm, I'm so proud of you. I'm so grateful to know you. Now you went to playlist 2020 and we're on the cusp of the 2022 playlist y'all. Um, it's coming up September 1st and 2nd in Orlando, Florida. If you don't know about it, please go to, I think it's, it's live. I'm going to have to get the website for y'all. Somebody, if you know what, put it in the chat, uh, live I think. Um, but it is through meet me as well on the website. You can get linked up to it to get your hotel room and get yourself situated for that amazing event where you actually were in the presence of Chris Casper a few years ago. And um, you will get that chance again coming up if you're going. Are you going? Yeah, I'm going. You're going. All right, going let's go. So now you had a, a little bit of a room available. Is that is that already gone? Um, for it's it's still available. It is okay. It's right. still so I got to. Okay, I love it. So you still have space, um, but for a female, right? Or maybe, you're, I don't know. Well, we could talk about it offline. You guys are yeah. not getting my room. Okay, so shh. All right, thank you so much, Kim Possible, for being here. You're an amazing human. You're so talented, so gifted, so kind. And I am excited to get to see you continue on your stream journey and hopefully get to see you in September down in Orlando. Um, and, you know, let's just stay in touch. Thank you again for being here. Of course, thank you for having me. Bye, Kim. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Welcome. My name is Triple L. This is the Living and Loving Show with Triple L. It's every Saturday at 7 p.m. Thank you for being here. Please follow me on Instagram. You can click my bio right now and, and add me on Instagram. It's a great way to stay in touch. If you're interested in being a guest, I would love to have you on. We have people uh, that are beginning streamers to experienced streamers, top badges, entrepreneurs, business folks, people that just want to get out and influence social media in a positive way. Um, so write me on Instagram and let's see if we can get you on the show. Thank you for being here. Uh, I want to just take a deep breath because holy moly, it is Saturday and it is July 30th. We are about to embark into August. Can you believe it? 2023 is around the corner. So is fall if you're in North America. Uh, Northern Hemisphere, I think. I don't know. Okay. Somebody check the weather for me or whatever. I don't know. But whatever. <laughs> I'm so grateful for all of your um, likes, favorites, comments, gifts, and I can't address them all during the show. Our next guest, oof, 
I'm fangirling. Okay. Jessica, be ready because you're going to do most of the talking. <laughs> I hope you're okay with that because I just want to sit back, y'all, and listen and enjoy and love on this amazing woman. Um, she is so strong and so smart and talented and funny. And gosh darn, is she beautiful. Beautiful. She's a mother. She's a streamer. She's about to be a your next top ad streamer. She has a featured show called It Takes a Village on Sundays at 2 p.m. Eastern. You can catch it live tomorrow. Be there. And uh, I'm grateful to have connected with her. Um, she's just, she's, oh, she's phenomenal. So when she's ready, I think she's ready. We're going to get her into the box, you all. Get ready for a treat. None other than It Takes a Village show host, Jessica. Oh my God, talk about making me nervous, huh? Hi. Hello, Hi. my beautiful people. Hello, gorgeous. Hi. Oh How my goodness. You? I'm so excited for this moment, seriously. And I'm a little bit teary, but it's mainly just happy eyes, happy eyes. Okay. okay. But I have my box of tissues. I'm not going to lie. Because, okay. well, and I'm not, we're not going there, but I brought them next to me because I was like, you know, I know my sister, I, have mine I just too. had to have them close. <laughs> I, oh my I goodness. Too. How, by the way, you're just amazing. Thank you for having me. Like this for me. Talk about fangirl. This is my fangirl moment. Guys, if you guys have not favored Triple L, just make sure you bless this queen. Like she is everything, y'all. She, I've been watching her for a while and you are just, you are amazing. You are a light to this featured community, to the streaming world. Just thank you. If Let me give you your roses really quick. Just thank you for being you. Thank you for everything you do, for empowering women, just for giving us um, motivation, for making us smile when we feel down. Just uh, again, right? It takes a village. Thank you for being you. And um, let me stop because I'll probably get emotional, but I just want to say thank you. I know. I'm like already over here, like, but I am grateful for your words. Just, I, they um, mean a lot to me. You are just amazing. But all right. I was a little nervous, y'all. I was a little nervous. I'm not used to being on this side of the screen, but let's go. Well, let me let me tell a joke. How about that? Okay. Yes. So let's do a quick joke break. All right. And you guys get ready to learn a lot about Jessica, life and love, anything she wants to share with us this evening. And my love, I want you to know, um, if I ever ask anything, you know, I like to, I like to talk and I have questions, but if there's anything that comes up and I say something or ask something that isn't, you're not comfortable with, just please just we'll just bypass it skip it over. I said today's going to be the day I'm vulnerable like you get to, I don't speak about love. But I said today's, you are the only person I said, even on my stream, I said that I'm going to be completely vulnerable with you. So today's the day. So I'm here, I'm yours. So today's the day they get to know Jessica on a whole deeper level. So you are the only person I will speak about this with. So let's go. You are it. You are it. You are my person. So we'll okay. get to the okay. party. Then you can ask all the questions you want. <laughs> okay all right so i'm gonna do a quick joke you guys i'm like seriously getting chills though that's oof. okay 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 so if you guys go tell your friend everybody do a blast go tell your friends you're about to get you know the the real real story right now okay oh my goodness on a saturday night at seven triple l's show <laughs> living and loving and we have amazing show hosts and f future top badge i mean literally i can see it it's probably it's coming okay so she's here y'all uh exclusive energy tonight okay all right real quick what does the sun drink out of i'll give you a hint sun glasses <laughs> Sunglasses. What does the sun drink out of? Sunglasses. Hey. Okay. That, that might be better than my joke that I tell everybody. And I literally snort when I say my joke. 
it's silly, right? But it's uh, that's I love that. I love to be silly. That's oh I feel God. like you know life is heavy and hard sometimes, and you, already, you know that's where the uh, laugh. Do not get me started on dad jokes because there's one dad joke that I love to tell everybody that it's my favorite to go dad joke. Triple L. It's my, I have to tell you. Are you ready? We gotta do it. Yes, it's, we gotta do it. Everybody. <laughs> All right, y'all. What is Forrest Gump's password? Okay, everyone that's in my screen, go to password. And don't say it if you know it, you guys. I know. I was thinking Jenny, Jenny, or peas and carrots, or something like that. I don't know. I like how everyone's Chocolate. like Jenny. Are you ready? <laughs> what is it? One forest one. <laughs> Get it? One forest one. Run one forest, forest run. one. Oh it's my one God, that's a good one. one. <laughs> We do a name with a number. Like, I mean, everybody does it, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. We are so Julie, Julian, I know you like that one. All right. That's my favorite. So all right. Okay. So all right. So there's a little comic relief, y'all. Um, if you're just joining us, welcome. This is the Living and Loving Show with Triple L every Saturday at 7 p.m. This is our 45th episode. We're in season three, episode five in the box currently is amazing streamer she's so much more than that okay she's the featured show host of it takes a village which airs tomorrow at 2 p.m eastern every sunday so tune into that but i can't wait to to dip in more to you um let's talk about life first and then we'll do love and we have time so no pressure and you know we're just gonna um, we're gonna conversate um so grab a snack y'all and get a beverage and hang out and enjoy. So, okay. So how did you become a live streamer? How did you get into this world of live streaming? Uh, live streaming. So I am a single mother of a child. Um, and I'll go into a deeper route into that, but, um, I got lonely. Like everybody else, I decided to give POF a try. I tried all the dating apps. Um, it didn't work out. I was like, you know what? I'm too old. Let me try plenty of fish. Tried plenty mm -hmm. of it, fish. And I'm like, what is this? Nothing but catfish. Or the men in the conversation, they just didn't have it. It was always disrespectful, like, hey, sexy, or just something other than mentally stimulate this y'all fellas get to know this and this i always tell everyone get to know this if you guys yeah. can get to know my heart and my head you guys have a key of getting to know who i am as a person and no one did that and um i don't think anybody understood at that time i needed communication communication was huge for a single mom at that at that point so I'm like, this is not for me. I'm out of here. But at that time, I was huge on TikTok. So um, I kind of fell into the streaming world. And I'm like, what is this? Um, I fell into the Young Lord streaming um, stream. And I was like, I got anxiety, y'all. I'm like, what is this kitty things going on the stream, you know, because the gifts, y'all. I was like, good luck, kid. Yeah, like that. <laughs> what is this this is like a kid's game and i got really bad anxiety and i signed off then i went back on but they tell you to fade you know when you first sign on they tell you what to do so fade so i just fade the person and it was about three or four o'clock at night and i couldn't go back to sleep and i ended up um going back to the stream and it was again young lord and young lord said oh hi jess and i was like Oh my god he can see me through the camera <laughs> like what is going on and he just had a conversation with me and i was like this is pretty dope but it wasn't like it was a friend conversation is exactly what i needed and um he's like just you should stream and i was like i don't want to stream i'm hiding from the TikTok world i don't like the spotlight i want people to get to know jessica from my heart he's like you can do that so long story short fast forward i used to i was reading a book called um 
the love languages. And at that time last year, it was booming. Everyone was taking the love language on the app and I was reading the book, but people started coming into my stream, but I would only stream for five minutes. That was it. I would stream for five minutes and sign off. And Steph, who's in here, is my best friend. She's like, no, you need to stay on longer. People want to get to know you. And I would literally stream in a hoodie and just my face. And I was like, guys would come in there. And my purpose was I wanted to let people know when you feel alone, I wanted people to know that there is somebody out there. Everyone has a story right from the beginning even when i didn't know what this world was about all i know is anyone that i touched i wanted you guys to know whether you were incarcerated whether you broke up in a relationship it didn't matter what happened everyone has a story with that story i wanted somebody to know that people make mistakes you know what I mean? Or people have a story. It doesn't define you. It's what you do in this moment and what you do forward. You know, how you treat people, how you love people. That's what defines you. And that's what I did at that moment. Then I ended wow. up with a sh So most people don't know that I have lupus. So um, I had a stroke and that's how I became a streamer on this platform never in a million years i used to laugh my son um my son used to crack up so hard he's like mom you a live streamer are you kidding me um you used to laugh at these people and all of a sudden now i'm building real relationships and when i had a stroke i was embarrassed i would just stream with my face like this but i fell into a deep depression and um you guys, the people, my village, helped me. They were like, Jess, your left side is not working. Let's be your right side. And once I was there, um, I realized, you know, people that come in here and say this is just an app, it might be to certain people, but to people like me, who I thought that I was never going to walk ever again in my life, they made a huge impact and I was okay with being um, handicapped or not walking because I said I was going to be the best mom there is or I was going to be the best person. Then I started letting people let see Jessica vulnerable, right? I let people see me vulnerable for the first time in my life. And if you guys know me, um, I don't like being vulnerable to people. But this app, as, me as many bad people as there are, there are so many beautiful people on here. And I can honestly say people come into my stream and they're like, Jess, this is our safe house. I have the biggest, biggest trolls come into my stream and they're like, Jess, this is home for me. You make me feel seen and heard. And that's really what I want, like I said. And that's how I started streaming was because of my stroke, to be honest with you, and one lonely night. So that's how I became a streamer and 10 months later i learned to walk and i have my featured show mm -hmm. i'm giving us the minute y'all <laughs> that's like <laughs> i'm actually choked up literally hold on okay so <clears throat> i'm an intuitive empath um <clears throat> and my throat chakra is blocked right now which means there's some <clears throat> this is not what i was expecting to say in the moment just now um <clears throat> but <clears throat> i might have to step away for a second but there is some trauma that you've been through besides the stroke and it's coming up and it's actually coming up like i'm feeling it and um, we don't have to talk about any of it or all of it. It's up to you. Um, wow. So I was giving us a minute because you're you're phenomenal human. I don't know if you guys are getting that energy that I get every time I tune into her show, her stream. Just right now, she's loving, she's welcoming, she's caring, she's funny, she's sensitive, she's smart, you know. And like I said, she's gorgeous. But that's like. That's just, you know, she's inside gorgeous and she's a caring human 
And she really does believe that this streaming world can be a safe space for folks and create a home place, you know, a place where we're all feeling welcome and we can be vulnerable and we can be funny and silly and still, you know, lift each other up. And that's so powerful. And I'm so grateful for you. And I want you to keep thriving and keep shining because you deserve it and you are amazing. And just, you know, for me, like, just to hear the word, you know, stroke, just to like know the impact that that would have, you know, like my, it's like, I, you're, a, you're a miracle. You're literally a miracle. You have pushed through and yes, you're, you're not giving yourself, I don't feel enough credit, but I know you're, you know, you're, you leaned on others, even in a virtual world and it, it, you're a miracle and I'm, it's amazing. And your son, you know, and you're walking again and you're, I, I think you're working again too. Right. And you're, you know, it's like, yeah, yes, yes, absolutely. So, um, it, it was a crazy roller coaster. Um, I honestly thought that that is, that is it for me. Um, so there's a young gentleman that streams, his name is Lewis and he is in a wheelchair and um, he is one of my biggest, he's my role model. He works Aww. out, he wrestles, he does everything. Um, he's just amazing, right? So I said, um, I met Lewis when I was streaming and I said, if I'm going to be only half of my body works and he can get up every single day and go to the gym, if he can go and do everything that he does and it's only with the top of my body working, then I can do it. There's no excuses. I'm going to be the best that there is. Um, I love it's it. funny I love because it. one of the people came into my stream um, best and he's like, Jess, do you know that when I first met you, I clicked on your photo because you were beautiful, but, and you, and I shot my shot, but you said you weren't here for that but I stayed around because you were respectful, but I never knew that I would find a, a friendship like yours. He goes, do you know that I've been with you since you were in a walker in a wheelchair? He's like, and I seen you blossom. And I just started to cry because I didn't realize that half of my followers have been with me since the very beginning and they seen my journey. And to this day, they still come up to me and say, hey, Jess, do you remember when you first took your first steps? And they come to me and tell me this and I start crying because I think I was, I never got to grieve that. I went into straight mommy mode. And I yeah. went and I, there's no, there's no time to feel sad, right? You have to just pick up the pieces and you have to go because that's what we do. That's part of life, right? But now looking back, when I look back, I said, oh my goodness, you guys, you guys really held me down during the most, that's the scariest part of my life. Like that is scary. And you guys were there through it all. And they just remind me constantly, do you know how far you've come? And I was like, huh? I, I totally forget. It's like you forget, right? And so these moments yeah. like this, you actually get to speak your story and your truth. And I don't think you understand, you know, everything you've been through, but it's survival mode. But I think that's all, that's us, right? That's, that's what we do. That's part of life. I hear and you. And I can totally relate to the survival mode instinct, especially as a parent, especially as a single mom, you know, when things happen, we don't, we don't have, I would say it's almost a luxury to grieve. I mean, that sounds sad because I don't mean like, but we do need to grieve, but it's part of life. We have to let like a, a health issue or a loved one lost or a marriage lost or a relationship lost or a job loss or, you know, what, a, you know, home loss, whatever, those things, we do need to process them emotionally, but I hear you and, and you did, you had to step into action. You know, I have my, my child and it's me and him and we're going to make this happen. But then, you know, looking back, you were able to like process more. What a gift though, that you gave others and then they were able to, you know, give back to you too. And even now still in, in such a loving way and supportive way, powerful. Powerful, powerful. Okay. Um, so 
Do we want to go into love? You can, we can go into love. Let's go into okay. love. That's a subject oh. that I haven't spoken about on this app. So let's go into it. You're going to be the first one. Okay, y'all. <laughs> Get ready. Right. I don't know what that throat thing was about. That was so You know what? Exciting. It was the hardest moment. Yeah, it, it was it's like I couldn't breathe. I couldn't breathe. Okay. It was I found the most beautiful friendships, right? I found the most beautiful people, but also the most toxic people too in my life during that those moments. Mm -hmm. And like you said, it, it was a hard journey, you know, and, and I think that's probably what you felt that that was a it was a tough you I met the most amazing people but I also met some of the most toxic people as well you know I, I'm speaking about the good but just as more as good there's bad too but it's what you you choose to pay attention to so that's okay. funny that you said that though I was like oh she's on it <laughs> oh my gosh yeah I know it was taking me over um But that is, you know, you are here now in this moment, shining like the bright phenomena that you are. And y'all welcome in. This is Jessica, featured show host here on the apps. It takes a village. It'll be premiering tomorrow, every Sunday at 2 p.m. But tune in tomorrow, mark your calendars, uh, set your alarms now and tune in. Um, she's a just, she. Ugh. If you missed some of the story, you'll have to catch it on YouTube because we will be posting it. Thanks to Moji J for recording. Um, okay, so we're going to dive in. We talked life. We talked streaming. We've talked parenting. We've talked health. We've talked um, struggles. And now we're going to talk about some love. So love is my favorite thing. It's why I rearranged my letters and my name from live, laugh, love, which is a common one on a lot of things out in the world, pillows and clocks and couches. And I put love in the middle because I think we need to live well first, love more and laugh always. So love is, mm -hmm. is center. So tell us, let's start wherever you want about your love journey to this point. So yes. So to this point, so let's, let's, we'll go back. Right. Cause I think people yeah. need to understand Jessica a little bit more. So, um, first time I really found love, y'all. First time I really found, I thought it was love was at the age of 17 to 18 years old, went to college. And I think what's, what's important is, uh, never had a, a father, right? My father was in and out of my life abusive. I come from a very, um, I come from the hood, y'all. Let me, let me just keep it real funky. I come from the hood where there's no father. My, my grandfather raised me. He is the only father figure I have in my life. He is the love of my life is my grandfather. But um, he's a traditional, you know, a man from Puerto Rico church. He's very structured. So um, with that being said, my father was in and out of my life. I come from my life wasn't easy. And I think that's what gets to, um, you get to relate to people. So I never saw what a healthy love was. I saw women get raped. I saw women get beat up. I saw men get beat up. I saw men get raped. So with that being said, um, from the age of six to 13, I was molested as a girl. So I didn't want anything to do with love or dating. So I was a late bloomer. I didn't want anything to do with, um, you know, dating. So I blocked that out completely in my middle school, high school years. I was just the athlete. So when I think of my um, high school days, I think of Jessica, the athlete, Jessica, fun. I was always goofy, full of life, but that's it. Now, um, I went to college and I met this man and he was funny. Oh, he was funny. And, uh, I fell in love with him. He became my best friend, right? Like anybody else would, 
And I think at 18 and not having, I was kicked out. So I was homeless at this time. And uh, college didn't have a home. So this man, everything that he said seemed good. And I wasn't quick, like you couldn't, you couldn't get to my heart, but this man put extra work, y'all. He worked with the kids, he did everything, but everyone said, just be careful. He's a, he's a player. But you know, I was like, I stayed away from the athletes. I was like the football team. I didn't go for the athlete. I went for just the regular guy who worked with the children, y'all. I was like, I picked the good one. I picked the good one. Well, long story short, you know, he, he, he broke my heart. And um, now I'm living out of my car. He goes to the 